Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academy Coordinates. This is a follow-up video from the previous video where we actually introduced you guys to exponential functions and where we considered, you know, the vertical shift and the horizontal shift. Do you know what I'm saying? As far as exponential functions are concerned. So let us do this example. We are told to sketch f of x is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 to the x minus 2, negative 2. Right, so we're going to sketch the graph and determine the important characteristic. First of all, guys, we're going to find the intercept, right? Firstly, we find the intercept, you know, the intercept are uh, where, you know, the function will cross, you know, or cut the axes, right? This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. And as you have said, the equation of this line is x is equal to 0. The equation of this line is y is equal to 0. Do you understand? Okay, so y is equal to, I mean, the y-intercept, right? We let x equals to 0, right? The value of y where the function will actually cross, you know, or cut, you know, the y-axis, right? So we're going to find f of 0, you know? So this is 1 multiplied by... 2 to the 0 minus 2, negative 2. Okay, and then after we continue from here, so 2 to the 0 minus 2, so it's a negative 2 minus 2. Okay, so now it's a, you know, um, so it's going to actually be 1 divided by 2 squared minus 2 divided by 1. Let me just put it like that. Okay, so 1 divided by 4 minus okay how can i make this um um a fraction such that i'll be able to actually subtract the two so i'm gonna multiply here by four and here by four so it's gonna be eight divided by four right okay this is equals to one minus eight is minus seven divided by four okay so negative seven divided by four is the value of y where um the fun is this is where the function will actually um cut or you know across you know the y um axis right okay secondly we're gonna find the x intercept right so we're gonna let y equals to zero right where the function will actually cross the x axis and the value of this um line is y is equals to zero you know what i'm saying okay so it's gonna be zero equals to 2 to the x minus 2 minus 2, right? So, what is this? This is 2 to the x minus 2 is equals to 2. All right, 2 to the 1. Okay, cool. So, um, um, these are the same bases. So, you can say x minus 2 is equals to 1. You know, and then after we solve for x, so x is equal to, we take um, this negative to the other side, so x will actually equal to 3. So 3 and 0 will be the x-intercept. Okay, looking at our equation right here, um, finding the asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, right? It's going to be y is equals to negative 2. You know, the function is not defined, right, at y is equals to negative 2. So this is the horizontal asymptote. The function will actually approach um this line, y is equals to negative 2, but it's actually it's not going to touch it. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. I think we can sketch the function now. Um, um, if you're told to find extra points, you can obviously find the extra points. You can find f of 0, f of 1, f of negative 2. So this is y. This is x, right? And we know that at y is equal to negative 2. y is equal to negative 2. This is the horizontal asymptote, negative 2. This is 0. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Um, so we've got f of x is equal to 1 by 2 to the x minus 2 minus 2 okay so a is positive so our function will be something like this you know what i'm saying and then um, um x minus 2 you know so our function is shifted two units to the right one two right um and also uh, there's a negative two here 
sorry about that there's a negative two here so our function shifted one two units downwards right okay let us um actually sketch our function the y um intercept is seven over negative seven over four so there is it negative seven over four then the x intercept is three so let's see there is three and zero right okay cool so our function will be something like this Okay, so this is going to be our exponential function, you know, that we are looking for. And the function approaches this line, right? Y is equal to negative 2. You know, this is an asymptote, right? So this is our function, guys. Um, you know, if you're asked to find extra points, obviously the extra points will be, you will be able to plot. Okay, this is x is close to 4, x is close to 5, for example. You know, you know obviously using, you know, the table method. You know that we all learned, you know, in grade nine, you know what I'm saying, or grade eight, right? Okay, guys. Um, okay, le now let's find the domain of this graph. The domain of this graph where the function is defined horizontally. So, as you look from negative infinity, this is negative infinity. We are going, 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 going. The function is defined. The function is, the function is defined. So, actually, the domain of this function is in x, an element of real numbers, or x, element of from negative infinity to positive infinity so this function is actually defined everywhere you know that's the domain of the function x, x an element of real numbers and then the range of the function right y is an element of what you know okay cool so we look at this function this function is not defined at y is equal to negative three y is equal to negative four right it's only defined just um after y is equal to negative two so the domain is going to be from negative two up until infinity where the function is defined you know vertically right um and so i did not include negative two here you know that's why i placed these brackets not square brackets i did not include it because of the function as much as the function approaches it but it never touches it you know what i'm saying okay the values of x the values of x where the function increases you know where is this function increasing from negative infinity, the function is increasing, 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 increasing. You know what I'm saying? So basically, this function increases um, when x is an element of from negative infinity to infinity. So this function increases everywhere, right? Or you can write x an element of real numbers. Where is this function decreasing? Decreasing. This function is not decreasing anywhere. So, um... This one is not applicable or um, not decreasing, right? You can, you know, write that if you are asked. However, let's say, for example, um, you had a function like this. Um, let's say this was y is equal to negative 1. Then maybe your function was something like this, for example. You could see that decreasing here was going to be applicable, but not for this specific one. All right, guys, I trust you appreciated, you know, the relevance of exponential functions. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to, you know, comment below or feel free to email me. I'll be glad to assist you guys, um, you know. All right, guys, do enjoy the rest of your day. Stay blessed and have a fantastic day.